Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com, PaintballProps.com, and ElectronicLessons.com. This video will serve as the video manual for the Beast Display, currently on Kickstarter. It has four modes of operation and is Arduino compatible. So, uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to, sh to uh, go over the main modes of operation and then we're going to get down to the nitty gritty and talk about how to communicate with it via Arduino. So if you're just using this uh, primarily as a scorekeeper, uh, there are four modes of operation. There's countdown mode, uh, uh, up count, down count, and scorekeeping mode. And we're going to go through those piece uh, one by one. First of all, we're going to do up count mode. And I'm going to plug it in. Now before I select up count mode, I use the green button to select between the four modes of operation. Up count, down count, countdown timer, function three, and scorekeeping mode and I can select, I can continue to press this button, the green button, to select between those. Uh, I'm going to count, if I select up count mode, I'm going to select by pressing the red button. As you can see, I've got a zero there. So now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, if I want to increment this digit, I'm just going to tap this button, tap it. If I want to go on to the next digit, I'm going to press and hold this button. If I want to go on to the next digit, I can increment by tapping, or I can press and hold to go on to the next digit. I'm going to tap once. So right now we've got 104 programmed. I'm going to press and hold, press and hold, and press one more time to start. So now I'm going to count up. Every time I press this button, it counts up. So I have to press it a whole bunch of times, obviously, to get it up to 104. Now, again, I can control this with Arduino, but I'm going to show you just the basic functions using just the two buttons for uh, right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video, and I'm going to count up to 104 and show you what happens. There is an output in the back that, uh, that can, active, that can uh, toggle a relay, if you'd like. We'll talk about that later on. So I'm going to press one more time, and we hit 104 and the beast display scrolls. Now one thing I want to mention is uh, the beast display, the, the scrolling might not look uh, great from the camera and that's because of the frame rate of the camera. Now it looks great to the human eye and you can also tweak the brightness of a display using a voltage booster in the back. So right now what I have to do is I have to press both buttons, red first and then green, to reset. Now before uh, I move forward. I want to mention that this video is long, but don't let that uh, don't let that bother you. I'm just trying to be as detailed as humanly possible. This unit is extremely easy to use. So I'm going to select down count mode, and like before, um, I can program in a value between zero and nine 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 nine. So I'm going to program in sixty. I'm going to press and hold to go to the next digit. Tap six times. That's just to go to five. Tap press and hold again. Press and hold again. Press and hold again. And once more to start the game. So fifty. And I'm just going to decrement really fast by tapping. And what happens when it runs out? Same as before. Now I can pre I can reset manually at any time during that by pressing uh, red and then green. But this is a different screen. It's scrolling, telling me the game is done. And there we go. Function three is countdown timer mode. You can program in a to uh, maximum value of 99 minutes and 59 seconds and uh, you can uh, down to obviously one second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, function three and I'm going to program in nine, five, nine, and I'm going to do another nine. So that will be essentially 100 minutes and I'll start so now your timer is counting down from essentially 100 minutes and I can program in any value in between so I'm gonna start I'm gonna stop the video start it again and just program reprogram in a value of 10 and uh, we'll watch it count down I've reprogrammed in a value of 10 start the game now keep in mind when all of these modes end and that's scrolling occurs, the same scroll is going to occur, where the, uh, as you can see, the segment scroll. And while that's happening, the logic on that relay pin I talked about earlier uh, toggles states, which means that you can toggle a relay. That happens for every single mode except for scorekeeping mode. Function 4 is scorekeeping mode. I'm going to select it, and automatically, or four digits show up as zero, 0, So the left two digits are the green team, the right two digits are the red team. If I increment, if I press this button, the green button, the left digits 
increment. If I press this button, the right two digits increment. Now, when you uh, hit the when you hit 99, what happens is uh, it flashes the final score, and the logic on that pin in the back uh, goes uh, toggle states, so you can control a relay. So I'm going to stop the video, start it up again when we hit 99. 98 to 16. Press one more time, and everything stops. And what happens? It flashes the score. And at this point, the only way to stop it is to Arduino reset in the back by controlling, uh, by doing a software reset in the back, or by pressing and holding both buttons, letting go, and resetting. So now let's look at the bear at the electronics. Again, you'll see that flickering, and you can't see that with the human eye. The frame rate of the camera is picking that up. So to me, it's very solid. It looks beautiful. But let's look at the uh, let's look at the main board. Now this is a wired up beast display without uh, its casing. Let's have a quick look at the Arduino connector on the main board. Now it might be hard for you to see, but there are six pins here, and each beast display comes with a connector for your Arduino. And uh, from the right to left, we've got a five, a four, a one, a zero, um, five volts, and ground. And we're going to connect our Arduino to that, and I'm going to write some sample code uh, that I'm going to show off in just a few minutes uh, that shows you how you can control everything we just did with your Arduino and with these. As you can see, here's a close-up of the 6-pin header. On the left you see GD, which is ground, 5 volts, which is a regulated 5-volt line, A0, A1, A4, and A5. And we're going to connect most of these lines to your Arduino. So as you can see, I've written out the uh, directions here. Um, the connections between the beast display to your Arduino Uno. Connect GD to the GND line on your Arduino Uno. A5 to GPIO 13, A4 to GPIO 12, A1 to GPIO 11, and A0 to GPIO 10. Now, one thing to note is the uh, A0 and A1 lines are the button control lines. A4 is the relay toggle output, and A5 is the Arduino reset line. So I can send a pulse from, a, uh, from my Arduino to A5 via GPIO 13 to reset the device completely, reset the beast display. And I'm going to use this specific hookup for uh, the following um, uh, Arduino uh, examples. So let's have, a, let's have a gander at some project examples. Right now I've got my Arduino using some of my sample code that will be available uh, controlling the beast display. And what this code is, it's, all it's doing is on a loop is it's resetting the beast display uh, selecting function 3, which is down, uh, countdown timer, and then programming in 60 seconds. After the 60 seconds is programmed, the game is started, and then after 5 seconds, uh, after 5 seconds, the uh, beast display resets again. Now, of course, this is just a piece of sample code. I've got it on a loop, so let's have a look. Selecting function 3, programming in 60 minutes, 1 hour game, start the game, and after 5 seconds, uh, the software resets the beast display and does that all over again. So what we're doing is we're just essentially using the uh, master reset and we are using uh, we are using the two pins that simulate red button presses and green button presses. I'll say this one more time the uh, beast display looks great uh, it looks a little bit um, it looks like it's blinking from a camera view and that's just because of the frame rate of the camera it looks perfect to the human eye. So let's try another code example. In this second piece of code, I've done the exact same thing, except for instead of resetting after five seconds, I've added in a little wireless receiver here, and I've connected the, one of the outputs to GPIO3 on the Arduino. So whenever I press A, it resets, and it reprograms itself back to 60 seconds. Now you can also stop it after easy program, after, sorry, you can stop it after you've, you've programmed it and then wait to, say, uh, press a button to start the game and end the game. In fact, why don't I do that right now just to show you how easy it is. Okay, I've made a quick change to the code. I'm going to reset it. It's going to do its thing. It's going to program, it's going to call the uh, easy program function that I've written, programming to 60 minutes, and then it's going to lay dormant until I press this button again. And then at any point, I can press this button again to reset. Now, you don't need a wireless, you don't need to add wireless control, but you can. It's that easy. Uh, you, can add, you can add in all sorts of circuitry to control this beast display, and it's very easy. You don't have to worry about serial communications. It's just simulating button presses, uh, applying a reset pulse, and when a game ends, uh, 
using the one uh, toggling line to say toggle a relay or tell your Arduino to do something else when the game is done. Now let's do something with that toggling pin I'm talking about. Now in this mode, uh, I've got the unit set to program to t a value of 10 and I'm programming it to go into uh, down count mode. I start it by pressing the wireless transmitter. I've got a vibration sensor right here. I've got obviously a lot going on on the left that you can't see, but I want you to see the display. And I'm going to flick the uh, vibration sensor when I want to decrement the value from 10 down to 0. Now of course we can take the one pin that's the output from the beast display back to the Arduino saying game over when the game is done. But I'm going to start it with my wireless transmitter and I'm just showing you this to show you the possibilities. So it starts at 10. I'm going to flick my sensor. Flick it again. And I just made a simple target practice set. Now this isn't a great example because this is a very sensitive uh, little, it's essentially a, t uh, a tilt switch. And you'd want to use a better vibration sensor, but I just wanted to show you. I just controlled the beast display, used a simple program to program it. Wire I added a wireless control just because I could. I added a vibration sensor just because I could, just to give you a few different demonstrations. Now in my last demonstration, I'm going to show you the, uh, when the beast display, when the game is done, uh, again, I talked earlier about a, uh, a toggle line a line that toggles. It's actually the A4 line and that goes from high to low when a game is done. So right now this, this, the signal line is low and if I reset the system sorry, pressing the wrong button it reprograms itself and now the line is high again so it's default high. Default set to high. When the game is over and the uh, displays are scrolling the output goes uh, low. So there you have it. Let's let me just give you a quick demonstration of I'm going to unhook all of my electronics and I'm just going to including the Arduino and I'm just going to hook a relay up to the beast display output to show you that you can just hook up a, a relay directly to the beast display uh, outputs and you can you can drive high powered uh, electronics or even electrical devices using that high powered relay that's controlled digitally via the beast display. As you can see, I've removed my Arduino, I've just got the Beast Display Board connected to the relay board here, the uh, active load relay board. I've got the VCC line connected to the 5 volt line on the Arduino rail on the Beast Display, the ground pin on the relay board to the GD pin on the uh, Beast Display, and the uh, signal pin to the A4 line on the Beast Display. And now, what's going to happen is I'm going to quickly run through a game here. Sorry about the moving around. I just wanted to show you that I was doing this. Uh, I'm going to, let's just do count up mode just for the sake of simplicity. Let's program in 10. Game start. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Watch the relay and listen for the click. You hear the click, the relay turns on. The relay is a high powered switch. It can control lights, it can control motors, it can control uh, it can control power supplies, it can apply power to other devices. And you can see you heard the click, it clicked on. The secondary uh, LED turned on. I reset the beast display by pressing the red button and green button. Relay turns off, you might have heard the click. That secondary LED turns off. So it's very, very simple to add a relay to this. Same works in countdown mode, but we're not going to show countdown mode just because just to save time. Let's skip to countdown timer mode, which is function 3. I'll select it, select 10 seconds, start. Now after 10 seconds, the unit will start to scroll just like in count up and countdown mode and the relay will click on. And I can turn it, it'll only turn off once I press green and then or red and then green. Really clicked off, unit reset. So that's it. I will be posting uh, code samples at engineeringshock.com, but I will link it through the Kickstarter campaign. Feel free to uh, ask any questions you might have. I'll also be making another video with some other, or with some condensed Arduino projects connected to the Beast Display uh, connector port. So thanks again. I hope this uh, helps. If you have any questions aside from what I've uh, talked about today, please feel free to drop a line. Thanks again.